Hey, what's up craft beer lovers? Patty and I, Root Talk with Mike, has a very unique video for you today. A little bit different than what we typically done. And just as a tease, can you guess maybe where I'm at? Check this out. Check over my shoulder here. Can you see where we're at? Huh? Lucky. Yeah. That's uh that would be the ocean. So so tell them Patty where we're at. We don't know where we're at. On the Pacific Ocean on the way to back to San Francisco, California. It's kind of a sad day because today's our last day of our 10-day cruise to Alaska. But the reason why we're doing this video is because believe it or not, Carnival Cruise Lines, a lot of people don't realize this, they have their own line of beer. So typically on a cruise, what I do is I am drinking pretty much liquor. I don't drink much beer on a cruise. But just for you, for Brew Talk with Mike, I took a day where I did nothing but I drank beer. So, um, so we're going to talk a little bit about the beer. Now, before I get into the beer, I will tell you that um, I have no internet here. So I have no way of checking a few things uh, as far as questions that I have. I believe that Carnival brews their beer on one or two ships. I'm almost positive of that. But if that is true, what I do, what I'll do is um, in the bottom down here, I will go ahead and um, put the ships or even tell you yes or no whether or not they're brewing beer. I can tell you that their brewery is actually in Lakeland, Florida, where they brew it. But like I said, I believe I was told um, a year or two ago that they actually um, brew their own beer on a couple ships. So with that said, I will fit that down below. I'll just subtitle it in and you'll, uh, you'll see. So let's get to the beer. So how I, many beers do they have? You know, that's, that's another question that I guess I need to answer. I know that here on the ship, they have, um, it, I, I've hung out in the Red Frog Rum Bar for most of the 10 days. I, all <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah. 24 7. <laughs> they, they have two of their beers on tap. One is a Red Ale and one is an IPA. And the rest of them are in cans, but I think sporadically across the ship at the many bars that they have um, it just kind of fluctuates so um, so anyway I will start at the bottom basically and tell you that you know I'm not an IPA kind of person so I don't like to be critical of the IPAs but I have to tell you that the IPA that they have here it's called um, Thirsty Frog IPA and it's a very drinkable beer. I mean, with, for me, it's very drinkable. It's not real hoppy or, or bitter like most of the IPAs are. They also have a Thirsty Frog Red Ale, which, um, which is, again, a good, smooth, just refreshing beer. All these beers are good. There's nothing that I can say bad about them. Um, they're all good and refreshing. So that's two of them. Um, and then what I'm going to do is um, I will, well here's, here's actually, actually I'm going to wait until I'm done and then I'm going to show you the beers. So one of my favorite um, is the Carnival um, Golden Ale. Is it the birthday? Yeah, actually it's, it's um, this is uh, Cardinal's 50th year anniversary. So they have a Carnival Birthday Golden Ale. And it's a very unique taste. I love it. I mean, it is so, so good. Um, to me, it's very, very similar to a Hefeweizen beer. Um, I'm not 100% sure whether it is or not, but it tastes a lot like a Hefeweizen beer. Then they have this uh, beer called the Parched Pig Toasted Amber Ale. Um, it's kind of a roasty, smoky um, ale. Um, again, if you like it a little more on the darker side, that is a that is a nice beer too, um, and then they have um, a beer called the Brew Hub Matte Black. That is actually a black lager 
that is um, brewed with coffee. But I believe it's it's in some collaboration with somebody because of the brew hub. And again, if there's anything that um, I need to tell you special about it, I'll put it I'll put it down below. Um, and then they have this thirsty frog Caribbean wheat. Um, it's a light orange flavor, and again, it's very very similar to a Hefeweizen beer, except for the banana and all. It has the uh, it has an orange orange notes and all. And um, and I don't know what other beers that they make, but if we'll there's have to more, investigate. yeah, we'll have to investigate. Like I said, we I need am. to go on another cruise. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> that's that's for another Down story. Down there in Florida by Lakeland. Yeah, so we've we've had a fun. This was actually our 40th wedding anniversary cruise. Uh, we've had to cancel it twice, so this is the third booking, and we kind of made it. And uh, it's it's been different to say the least because it's been pretty cold. <laughs> it's, been, it's been pretty cold. Um, but it's also, we did not, and this is just a little facts for you, did not know that Alaska, not the entire state, but um, a lot of Alaska all the way into the tip of California, it's like the biggest rainforest in the country. Who would have knew? Because we had some rain. That was crazy. So anyway, I know that it's just not like you can get up and go to the Carnival Brewery, but if you're on a cruise line, if you're literally on a cruise line, check then um, beers. you Some definitely, might, uh, you, you need to check out their beers. And I will tell you that one of my, I got two favorite people here, and unfortunately I don't see them right now. Dawson's one is right one is Cussie, um, he's the head bartender, and um, he's been he's been amazing. And the other is Dawson, and Dawson is, um, he's been, like I said, I come up here at night and I close them down. Yeah. Um, we've had a, a fun, fun time with them. But I'll just show you real quick. Again, excuse the hands. But um, just to prove that we're on a cruise, this is the Lido deck and this is the indoor pool. Uh, that roof travels back. It opens up. There is uh, there is the Red Frog Bar. And that's it. Oh, look at there you go. Hey, go say hi, buddy. Hey, there you go. Here's our, there's our guys. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in the Okay, okay. Leo and Bal. All right. I'm telling you, it's been a very entertaining cruise to say the least. So if you're on the Miracle, we're actually on the Miracle. And uh, I don't know if they'll still be here, but check out Cussie and Dawson. That wasn't, them. <laughs> that wasn't them. That wasn't them. But uh, check out Cussy and Dawson in the Red Frog uh, Bar and tell them that Mike and Patty said hello. And uh, I can't say that we'll see you on the next cruise because I don't know if we will or not. But we will definitely see you at the next brewery. Right? That's right. All right. So till next time, dilly dilly. Bye bye. Oh, and check out my shirt. You know, it is five o'clock somewhere, and Patty and I, I'm gonna actually, I tell you what I'm gonna do before I forget. Below, here's the picture of the beers. Um, I just think they're pretty cool. Here's the picture of the beers, um, and then I'm gonna have to have a separate picture of the black mat because I didn't get them all together. Um, and then I wanna show you this picture of Patty and I um, under, it's five o'clock somewhere. You always hear me say that, but here's a cool picture of us in the Red Frog Bar of all places. And then I've got my shirt on. So we got an announcement and it's kind of being loud. So we're going to go. See you at the next brewery. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly.